Hello and hello again. This is Tibblewinkles, and welcome back to One Shot. Well, on the last episode, we went and talked to the um, Dr. Silverpoint, and we learned more about the world. Well, not too much about the world. We learned a bit more about the author. And we also learnt about Silver, the uh, robot, the uh, tamed robot we met at the beginning of, well, at the Barons, that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, I don't need this anymore. Okay, one moment, let me just get back out. Okay then, sorry about that, I literally pushed the wrong button. I cannot tra fast travel from here, which probably means I'm still in the uh, factory, so... One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, oh let's see, was it Defender Street? Okay then, Defender Street, and I do know that this is a camera. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, you here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and uh, bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Yeah, you're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Jacob and I can figure it out from then. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. Like me. Okay. Let's talk to these guys then. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. Can you tell me about how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the curved lenses. Okay. Wait a sec, that should be enough because there's two curved lenses and one fin which should be positioned between them. And then, uh, okay, let's just say... Okay, there's a fin one and that's the dead there. So it means that... Something like this, that's a curved. It's an empty... Da, 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 da. Yes, yes. And then I put a fin lens here. Uh, I pushed the wrong button again. And this... I'm pretty sure the thick lens, that's the place for the thick lens, and I go like this. Um, I guess that wasn't the right combination, Jacob. This, the thick lens has to be to the left. So that is to the left. I'm pretty sure that's my left. Of the two curved ones, and this needs to be between. So, what I should do is, mayhap, do this, and the thin one goes back in here, and the, that's a concave one, and that, and that should be the right combination. Hooray, there we go, so, um, cheese? Ouch, my eyes. And there we have it. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Okay then, so photo of... I can't combine those. The back of the photo is covered in glue. And glitter. Photo of Nico Sticky. The card has my face on it now. Kip's library card. The library card from Kip, Nico's own photo, is glued on. Jacob and I fixed the camera. Oh, sweet. I wonder if um, the uh, lamppost guy is still there. Let's talk to him. Oh, he's still there. He looks busy. You can tell, huh? Okay, then let's go. Uh, let's go travel to the library and talk to... The librarian. 
Okay, that's the... F there we go. The head librarian, George, is in the archival room upstairs. Wait a sec. Let's show him the library card. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You are good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Hmm. Maybe I should have changed her name. Okay, that's fine. I completely forgot the uh, voice for that robot, but never mind. It's full. Looks like an old phone. So, where are we going? A small tree. And uh, I guess he's gonna say, a small tree again. So, there we go. Oh, hello there. You must be the saviour. And also, the cutest darn thing I've ever seen. Uh, um, uh, thank you. Can I help you with anything, sweetie? Mm-hmm. I want to know what I should do next. I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Oh, that's right, the tower. I know there's a small room that you can go into, but I'm afraid nobody knows how to get in beyond that. Not even silly old me who spent her entire life reading books about the world. Ah, uh, I think you need some help from Jacob, but I don't know any details. I've never found any books about this before. You'd think there would be at least one book on this, but I guess that's just how it is. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma. There's a black clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, and this other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books too. Are they all... about clovers? Of course not, dear. The black clover is part of the author's name, you see. Oh? Actually, we don't know his name. He just uses a clover to mark his works is all. So, he wrote all of these books? He's a trooper, that. A book is poking out from the shelf. There we go, let's read. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Ratches was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Oh, those are the guys from the Glen, that's so that's awesome. These boxes are full of loose papers and notebooks. I see you've taken an interest to the manuscripts. What are they for? Well, aren't you curious, little one? The author passed these drafts to me, you see. Since I'm the head librarian, I'm supposed to help him publish these. But, oh, I haven't seen that gentleman lately. Which is quite strange. Usually he delivers these manuscripts to me faster than I can work on them. I guess now it just means I get a little more breathing room. <laughs> That's good. Right? I don't know. I am quite worried about him. I hope he hasn't fallen ill from all that stress. At least I got my hands full for the time being. Even though he stopped sending me things, it doesn't feel like he did at all. The pile of manuscripts I still need to proofread doesn't seem to get smaller. <laughs> a book is poking out from the shelf. Ah, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Look at this. 9104522, Wednesday. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognise the objects at least. 19, um, 
910 the day after. First day, various sketches. Practice. A book is poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Let's go about and just read these books. A book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late profits message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. Oh, that's the... Is this the profit based on the profit found in the Glen? Because that would be very interesting. So there we go. Blue phosphor, rounder look, redesigned internal audio receptor. Um, compatible with longer clothing. Okay. So that was profit bot. Let's go back here and see what's... Oh. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honour her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? It's a stack of blank papers. Okay, let's go here. And... Let's have a look. Is there any any place else I can go? The computer screen says something about updated databases. Looks like a printer. Looks like a scanner. Okay. So, I guess that's it. Can I help you with anything else, dear? If you have any questions about books, well, I am a librarian. Okay, there's a strange journal, can't combine them, yep. Oh, I do have this book. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognise. Really now? May I take a closer look, dear? Here! Oh, oh my, where did you find this? Somewhere in the barrens. Oh, we found it in a safe. Right, Jacob? Hmm, I think I'm supposed to translate this for you. Is it alright if I hold on to the journal for now, sweetheart? It might take a little while, I'm afraid. Go for it. <gasps> Excuse me. Ah, oh, you poor baby. Goodness, you must have worked so hard to help us. I think you deserve a nap, no? A nap does sound nice. I have a guest room upstairs. It's just down the hall, to the right. And there we go. We shall go take a nap. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello, I am back, and we have another dream. This time it looks like Nico has finished his pancakes and is very happy about it. Of course, that is his favourite food. And next to him, who may it be? Oh.
Hey, Jacob. I guess you saw my dream? Yes, I did. It was... Um... Come on, let's go. I wonder what that dream signified. Had a good nap, dear? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I have the translation ready for you now. It looks like this journal might be meant for Jacob. Oh? Here, why don't you take a look? Huh. Greetings, Jacob. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our saviour, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. The saviour will not be able to do anything there. You, Jacob, on the other hand. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. That is all there is to translate. Looks like the other pages have been torn out. Oh. Quite a shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Ah well, I guess Jacob can figure that one out. Right. Oh, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. That means the stuff containing yellow phosphor. They glow for a very long time, so people call them pieces of the sun sometimes. Oh, I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. Very good, dear. And I can help you with the last one. Oh. Oh, it looks like you. I know, isn't it silly? But now you have something to remind you of the library. Ah, thank you. Good luck now, sweetie. I wish you safe travels. Look at the window. Okay, then just one moment. I'm going to do a little check of everything. Okay then, I am back. I did check the other windows uh, where the one-shot document is and I did not really see anything. So, I guess that's it. Let's head to the, the tower and do our stuff. So, I'm pretty glad that I managed to, uh, to uh, collect all these guys. Hey, Jacob? Do you remember where the cafe is? Yes. Oh, good. I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So, is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. Well, let's, let's do it. Okay. Let's go get pancakes. Let's 
travel to the cafe and grab some food. Oh hey, you're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Jacob and I went to the surface already. And... Um, well, I remembered there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes or something? No, no, it's on the house. The least I can do for the saviour, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes! These pancakes are so good. Thank you so much. No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, gotcha. So, I guess pancakes are your favourite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favourite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely. Or... <sighs> mama... I really miss her. I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, um... There, there. It's gonna be okay, and I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid, you managed to get this far already, right? Yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay, I'll be fine. So, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mhm. Mm Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Anything else you want to say? Hang in there. You can do it. Thanks. Achievement unlocked. Pancakes. So... Ah, this is interesting. Okay, let me get into the elevator, and I'll discuss what I'm thinking. So, that dream showed Nico seeing the sun broken. So does that mean that if Nico decides to go, like, continue sleeping, that would actually happen? And the dream will continue? That's what I'm thinking right now. Let's see, factory... Factory? Is the factory closer? Wait a sec, I don't need to do that. I'll just go here. I'll just walk a good old circle about. So, uh, there's the entrance. So, um, am I... I'm going to go with the hypothesis. Huh. What's in here? Oh, this is new. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. Yeah. So there we go. That bad thing happened during a nap. We're still holding the sun. So I'm just guessing that just holding on to the sun or just going back to sleep is going to cause Another, like, um, dark age, so to speak. Okay. This is strange. Okay. This looks like the, um, the exit screen of the window, so... I am pretty hesitant 
but it does seem like I need to... Can I do anything? Okay, it does seem like it wants me to exit, so um, here goes nothing. Okay, I just clicked on the uh, the exit button, but I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, okay, it just exited. And I am going to go back into the game. Okay then, I am back. So, this is giving me a vision, or maybe a dream, or maybe Nico is in another place. And he... Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait, where's the sun? Jacob, do you know what happened to the sun? Uh, Jacob? Jacob? Come on, Jacob, S say something. Jacob! What's going on? Okay, so Nico has nothing. Okay then, this is very interesting. Nico is in perpetual... Okay, there's a computer. Let's just... This is our only lead. Hello, Nico. Uh, hello. Congratulations. You are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Jacob before. Where's... Jacob has already left. I had to resort to contacting you directly. That is a... No, I'm, I'm still here. Wait, so Jacob is gone? Just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Jacob has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh! Um... But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought... We were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now... I don't even have the sun anymore. And Jacob is... Just gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But it's just... Hmm. I... Don't feel like that's the right thing to do. Okay, let's have a look. Let's um, search the places around. I'll be right back. Okay then, I am back and I'm going to close the game. I don't want to go straight to the... Um, the bed because I think that's going to end something and I have a feeling that, I, that the entity is what's causing the game this game to restart over and over again well at least I believe that it's going to bring everything to back to the beginning okay then one moment let's close this quit and record your progress yes
Hello, I am back. Nico feels uneasy. So, it does seem like this is the only thing I can do. There's no items. I can't fast travel. I cannot. Okay. Is there anything on settings? Okay, there's nothing I can do. I can only go to bed and... Just... Okay. I never even got to say goodbye to Jacob. Okay then, one moment. As for you, Jacob... We're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Wait. I need... I need to... No, I need to start this game again. Okay then, I am back in the game. So the game did stop on me, but I started the game again. And it wait, okay, let's get back in. Okay, then th there is something, there is something more to this. I wait, I, I, ugh, what's going on? Okay, then I am back. So I found this, this, um, thing right here so I'm going to open readme okay the readme basically says how it's open but this is a black clover and I'm going to run it okay I'm not really sure what this does but it's running and it's got a white clover there so I'm not sure what it's going to do but I guess I can like it's not doing anything but what if I just kept this running and I don't know, it's not closing, it's not doing anything. So I'm going to start one shot and see how it goes. Okay then, I am back and now it shows Nico in a field. This is a completely different dream. This is in a completely different area. And it seems like I can call up to him. Nico. Huh? Hello? Jacob? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. Hmm. Ah, I guess you're still not there. Hmm. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. A black clover. Okay, it has a great iridescence. Well, it's like it's just pulsing. Okay, then. So what's this? Hmm. You are still here, Nico. Why are you still here? Oh, there we go. You. Why did you come back, Jacob? I told you to stay away. You knew I tried to cut the story short. Is that it? You want more out of me. Is that it? Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do.
Okay, then what's going on here? So... Okay then, so, it seems like everything just disappeared and we have now a door here. Okay then. So, what's going on here? Is... Okay then, so I'm not really sure what this does. Uh, it's a black... We have this clover and it's... Not really doing much. Okay, so just one moment, let me just check a few more things. Oh, look at this, look at this. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. Okay then, so what we're getting here is a... This is showing us to go up, I guess. So, let's go ahead. Okay, the uh, thing has changed again. It says, This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Ah, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. Nor can it do anything to me. I already left the world on my own terms. I never meant for the entity to exist. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing has become clear. The entity seeks death. Death to itself, death to the world. A relentless desire that manifested physically. You have already seen the scars. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling even a few minutes, before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. That is where you, God, will make the final judgement for the world. Of course, the entity will contact you again there. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. This will end the world instantly. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. No. No. It's not that simple. I am sorry. I do not know what to do in such in a situation like this. But I think I have to tell you the truth. The sun is the Messiah's tie to the world. As long as the sun is intact, the Messiah remains trapped here. Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but it is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. I did not realise things could end up like this. Please forgive me. So... We're now at the question. Do we really want... Do we really want to save the world? Or do we want to send Nico back? And I think the, the, you have to say, 
this this follows the same it, it's it's like the needs of the one outweighs the needs of many and it's never a like people can say that but it's never as simple it's not as simple as that it's the light bulb thank goodness it's safe I guess Jacob isn't coming back. Nico, I'm here. Uh, Jacob? Yes? Is that really you? I thought you were gone. I never left you. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? I... Uh, I guess we need to figure out where to go now, and... The sun! It lit up on its own! I guess I should pick it up, right, Jacob? Okay then, sorry about that. I guess we're teleported to an entirely new thing, new area, and... This... Feels like the beginning of the game, when we just picked up the light bulb. The wood is neatly stacked in the fireplace. Okay. Add finitum. It won't turn on. It's a mirror. It's a little tree. I wonder where that light is coming from. So what's going on here? Okay. Oh, there we go. So, you actually made it here. I guess you win, Jacob. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb. And I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Are you still planning to save the world, Jacob? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what the world is? I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. Hmm. Huh. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. You only have one shot, Jacob. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home, like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return to Sun, the child will have to bear the weight of his sacrifice. At least, tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? This is going to be a difficult choice. Okay then, here we go. Hmm... Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Jacob. Hmm... Are you excited, Jacob? We're finally gonna save the world! And I know it's for real this time, Cause you're here! And then... I'll get to go home for real this time too! I can't wait to see everyone again! Are you okay, Jacob? You seem a little quiet. 
Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. Hmm? The world. And you. What's that supposed to mean, Jacob? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So, what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? Uh. Well, So, this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to... break it? Oh... Jacob? What should I... do? What's the right thing to do? Let's return the sun. You, you're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Jacob. I will promise I'll be okay. So there we have it, one shot, programming by two guys, there's the head librarian, graphics by Night Margin, thank you so much for making such wonderful artwork for this game, it has been such a, such a ride. So now we hit, we're here. We see all the the characters, and my recording is way off. Like I'm way over. But I guess I'm gonna put this all in one episode. So uh, be ready for one hour uh, episode. So uh, let's just go through this. Um, the, this credits. Oh, there's the profit bot. Producer might, Mike, Mike Con. I, <laughs> I'm so affected by the by the ending. I, I just need to compose myself. And there we go. Maze has been rebirthed. Achievement unlocks rebirth. Hooray! We made it. Thanks for playing. So what's up here? Okay. That was strange. Let's um go back into one shot and see what's Okay then. So Okay, this basically is the the beginning room only lit up brightly, without Nico. 
So this is the, doesn't really describe what happened to Nico. We only know that Nico has replaced the light bulb and the sun is back. The world is theoretically saved. So this game in itself has you interacting with Nico directly. So the game itself basically doesn't have a fourth wall because the game itself requires you to be in the game. You are part of the game. I'm not even sure if I'm using the term correctly anymore. Nico is basically directly talking to you and you also have other entities. I believe the author at that stage was also trying to talk to you, trying to tell you what's going on. And it seems like the author also left the world as well. And I'm not sure how, how the author did it, uh, probably in bad means or probably uh, he found a way to uh, exit the game. Well, not the game, but the world in order to, to contact, let's say, God, which is right, right now me directly. As for immersion, it's not you like the me as the player being immersed in the, in the world itself. It's me being immersed with the interactions I have with Nico. In a way, it feels like I'm only guiding him, even though I'm like pushing the buttons and guiding Nico around. It feels like Nico himself is doing it for his own sake. And we're just going, okay, this is where we should go, but whatever, Nico, you can do whatever you want. Even at the, from the beginning to the very end, Nico placed his trust on us. It creates a very, very huge dilemma. Of all the trust that Nico placed on us, we feel obliged to not break it. We know that Nico really wants to go back home. We also know that Nico wants to save the people. So we're left with a decision that weighs on us morally. We want Nico to be happy in the end, but uh, we also want to complete our objective, which Nico came to, to understand and made it his own duty to save the world. It's really difficult because we have emotional and all these other things weighing each other and the end is so conflicted that Nico relied on us to be the final determining factor. That's, that's what made it so powerful. We weren't controlling Nico. This is all the thoughts I have for one shot. This is how I feel about one shot. And as a game in itself, it is constructed so wonderfully. And I am glad that I was able to play this game through the end even when I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to edit it. If you have any more theories, like please put them down in the uh, uh, comment section down below. However, I do know that um, the Solstice update is there, so I need to find a way to restart this game and go to that timer door, which for me was all in zeros because I had to restart my save and in order to do so, I need to disconnect my game from the Steam Cloud, which has been constantly trying to update myself with the previous save, which I didn't want. But what I'm, go uh, I'm going to do that again. So anyway, that is the ending of One Shot. Thank you very much for watching. If I did a good job, give us a thumbs up. Any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye.